good afternoon. And Jacob, thank you so much for your work and, and also for the kind introduction. And I, I really want to thank all of you for inviting me to join you today to talk about the important work of preventing evictions and, and keeping people in their homes. I, I wish, as I always say, we could be in person today, uh, but we are still in the middle of COVID. And um, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, encourage everybody that hasn't taken advantage of being vaccinated to roll up your sleeve and get a vaccine. That's the way we're going to put this pandemic behind us. So I want to take this opportunity to really thank President Biden, Vice President Harris, and, and Secretary Yellen and her team at the U.S. Treasury for their partnership with states and, and localities on, on quickly making emergency rental assistance available to states and, and localities. I, I also want to thank our congressional leadership and say a special thank you to our Virginia congressional delegation, including Senator Kane and Senator Warner, who, as you all know, were prior governors in our Commonwealth and who have really helped and, and led to provide unprecedented federal resources for emergency and rental assistance and, and other pandemic resources. As we all know, housing instability has long been a national challenge. Right here in Virginia, we have worked to be the national leader in preventing evictions and in providing shelter for people who are experiencing homelessness. When I came into office in 2018, we had three housing goals. Uh, we wanted to increase the supply of affordable housing. We wanted to increase the supply of permanent supportive housing and to reduce evictions. And we've made great strides on, on all three. Even prior to this terrible pandemic, we were building up new policies and programs to reduce evictions. We launched the Virginia Eviction Reduction Pilot Program which offered eviction prevention and diversion services and, and demonstrated what services work best to stabilize households that are facing evictions. But as we know, the pandemic laid bare in even starker terms how too many families, especially communities of color and households with young children are one financial challenge away from being evicted from their homes. And as the pandemic's first weeks became months, we knew we needed to act quickly. So in June of last year, Virginia became one of the first states to start a statewide rent relief program. The Virginia Department of Housing and Community Development and local agencies launched the rent relief program using CARES Act funding to keep people in their homes. And we quickly expanded it to include a process for landlords to apply for rental assistance on behalf of their tenants through Virginia Housing, our state housing finance agency. And I wanna tell you, demand was high. And by last winter, we needed additional federal assistance. We worked with Virginia's legislature to provide bridge funding through the Virginia Housing Trust Fund to ensure this vital resource continued to be available to tenants and landlords. By February of this year, we were able to tap into emergency rental assistance, also known as ERA, 1.0 funding, and Virginia's total allocation for the Virginia Rent Relief Program has exceeded $524 million. Since February, Virginia has distributed over 320 million dollars, more than 60% of our ERA 1.0 allocation. And all told, since the inception of the program, the Virginia Rent Relief Program has dispersed more than $365 million for 67,000 rent relief payments for 62,000 households throughout Virginia. The majority of those households are families with children, in the home, more than half of the assisted households identified as Black. The key to our program's success has been the requirement that tenants and landlords work together. When they become partners working closely throughout the process, it ensures that tenants remain in their homes and landlords get the rental payments that they need. 
we have seen unprecedented cooperation between landlord associations and tenant advocates with this collaborative approach expanding both our capacity and efficiency. We've also focused on outreach efforts to ensure that we're including historically disadvantaged communities. In June of this year, we launched the Virginia Rent Relief Program's Outreach and Engagement Grant, aiming to strategically promote RRP within historically economically disadvantaged communities and to assist households and landlords who have accessibility issues, limited access to the internet or language barriers. Virginia has used the flexible guidance provided by Treasury in a number of ways to simplify the application process and ensure quick access to funding. We have used fact-specific proxy to pre-income qualify households in 500 zip codes, allowing us to expedite processing of thousands of applications from the lowest income neighborhoods in our Commonwealth. Virginia has also used flexible guidance to pre-qualify households accessing TANF, WIC, SNAP, and LIHEAP, the most commonly accessed programs for low-income households in Virginia. Virginia also relies on self-certifications as allowed by Treasury, including COVID financial hardship, income certification for households with zero income, income certification for households who are unbanked or have a cash only income and income certification for self-employed earners. With all the work we do in housing, it is critical that we approach this work through the lens of equity and inclusion. We continue working to dismantle the lingering impacts of redlining and other policies that have led to inequitable housing options. In addition to launching the rent relief program, we work with our General Assembly to enact more protections for tenants. Those will stay in place beyond this pandemic. Landlords may not deny a potential tenant application based solely on their payment history or an eviction for non-payment of rent that occurred during the pandemic. And tenants now have two weeks instead of five days to pay rent after being served a non-payment notice. Additionally, Virginia has also provided ARPA funding and additional state resources to boost legal representation for tenants in housing related cases. We've made some incredible strides in our efforts to keep Virginians in their homes, but we know there's still work to be done. And again, I just wanna say thanks to additional federal investment to protect homeowners. This fall, Virginia Housing will launch the Virginia Mortgage Relief Program with approximately $250 million in American Rescue Plan funds. Helping ensure that every family has a stable place to live, stay safe and healthy while navigating the pandemic is, is vital for everyone. So here in Virginia, we are committed to preventing evictions, helping financially distressed Virginians get back on track with their rent payments and assisting our housing provider community receive the payments they depend on to run their rental properties. Increasing access to affordable and safe housing remains a top priority of our administration, a sentiment I know I share with Vice President Harris and President Biden. So I look forward to our continued work together as we create vibrant, sustainable, and resilient communities across this great nation. Thank you so much and stay safe. Thank you so much, Governor.